Hey guys, welcome to Milson Ranch. Every once in a while, I'll come up with a video idea and I have low expectations it's actually gonna work. This is one of those ideas. This is a crossbow that I just got. It's my first crossbow I've ever had. And uh, let me show you what I got set up over here. This is a field point on a crossbow bolt. This is a 40 caliber shell. I cut the end off the 40 caliber shell and I stuck it onto the end of this field point. So if you can imagine, there's a field point going up into this shell and a 9mm slips right into here and rests its primer against that field point, just like this. The 40 caliber shell is just holding the 9mm there. So in theory, when this fires, if it doesn't fire as soon as the crossbow trigger is pulled and it fires in the crossbow, it will fly until it hits a target pushing the 9mm back into the crossbow, into the, the field point, and setting off the bullet. All right, there's the 40 cal shell on the field point. 9mm is loaded in. The bolt is loaded. It is on fire. And like all my more dangerous videos, I'll be firing this from a distance behind cover with this string. Here we go. Looks like it worked. I was behind cover so I didn't actually see. But I can see where it hit on that center block right there. Uh, I don't know where the arrow is. All right, I had to watch this camera to figure out where that went. I uh, saw that it actually fired backwards, so I just turned around and it was right behind me, stuck in the ground. And the 40 cal casing is gone. Who knows where that went? But the field point looks like it's in perfect shape and it still works. And the uh, nine millimeter bullet did fire but did ha it did not have any power going into that thing. It dented it a little bit, but when it fired, it shoved this arrow straight backwards and landed over in the dirt over there. And you thought that was all I had planned for you. This is a 44 Magnum shell. It is glued to the tip of an arrow. This one does not have a field point on it. I actually unscrewed it so it was flat. So this, it was just like this. This is a entire case from a 44 Magnum. I didn't cut the bottom off or anything. This is a 40 caliber case and it fits perfectly in there, snug like that. I'm going to fill this up with some DA-22. This is binary target that's set off by 22 caliber bullets. And I'm gonna fill it up and then shoot it in hopes that when it hits, this will compress, will ignite this, so it'll be like a little explosive arrow. These are full of DA-22. It's closed. I was surprised when that 9mm went off. I will be really surprised if this one actually works. Here we go. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Can't believe that worked. I really thought if anywhere it'd blow up in the actual crossbow because there's so much force. This one has 175 pound draw weight, but it worked. Here is the end of that arrow, all shredded, which was what I expected. It shoved, you can see that little brass ring there, shoved that way down into the arrow. Here's where it hit. Still not a whole lot of damage. Most of that explosion just went straight out. This thing was already cracked before. Maybe another crack, I don't think so though. I think all that explosion just dissipated through the air. Made a really loud boom though. Appreciate everyone watching, thanks for the support, and we will see you next time.